nerve wracking at all to make sure you, you get them before he gets it up when you got them in that? Or is there any pressure to on that play to make sure you get it and don't leave it in the rest hand? Yeah, you just got to make sure that uh, you, you don't do it in the shooting motion. Uh, some guys, like at the end, Aaron almost tried to shoot it at, at the half court line because he knew we were going to foul them. So it's kind of nerve wracking, but at the same time, you just got to be smart about it. Sometimes even pump fake and make it seem like you're going to do it and see what they do. But as long as they're going away from the basket or they're on their shooting motion and you foul them on time, it's a, it's a very smart move. So. Do you guys work on that in practice? Is that ever like a, a drill you guys work on? No, we, we haven't worked on that yet, actually. It was actually, that, that's why it made, made it more nerve wracking for some of us because we didn't work on it. But uh, uh, we've talked about it before. We just never worked on it. But I've worked on it before. <laughs> My old school, so I, I already knew how to do it. Is that something that you take from, you know, that final four minutes didn't go as you guys had drawn up, but mm -hmm. to execute like you guys did in that final 30, 45 seconds or so? Yeah, it, it shows it shows growth for sure because uh, um, the last games we, we, we were fouling and, and making bonehead decisions in the last four minutes of the game and the last, like, minute of the game when we had a chance to win it. But I think it just shows growth and, and, and our team coming together and listening to coach and, even though some of the things didn't go our way, we, we ended up pulling it out somehow. So. You see, you get a week between games here. What do you want to maybe you to work on here and get ready for the second time against Oregon State? Uh, just understand uh, and watch film and then understand that we lost to them already. So we got to come with more fire and come with more understanding about who we're playing and what they do. So I think it's just prepar preparation is going to be the main focus here for us because. We can't, we can't let them come in here and beat us, so we got to make sure we get them, get it done. I feel like you've kind of found your, your spot in this offense to you know, pick your spots and where you can score. Uh, I, I kind of found, I kind of found some sp spots to just make it easier on myself. And, and coaches talked to me about being a little more aggressive and, and understanding that I can do certain things. So I just know that they, they have trust in me. And when, when people have trust in you, you, you kind of have more confidence in yourself. So. Uh, with that, I, I take more risks and do different things. But at the same time, the coach ke keeps telling me to go, so I'm not really worried about it. Do you, you see noticeable improvements then, or are you just? No, I'm just playing like myself, honestly. I, not really any any improvements. Uh, I wish I shot shoot, I shot the ball better from the two point line, but at the same time, um, I think that I'm just playing more aggressive and understanding uh, to stay out of foul trouble one because that, that keeps me on the court. But at the same time, doing anything to help the team, so. In the first half, you had a nice little passing combination led to a Troy Brown three from the corner. You guys been working on passing on the perimeter. You guys looked a lot better tonight. Yeah, we uh, we, we we did a great job of it when we were at Arizona, Arizona State. And uh, I think we had to just get back to our, our ball movement because our, our ball movement was amazing when we were over there. And, and I think our team played a lot better when we passed the ball a lot. And uh, we work on it in practice, just making sure we make the extra pass. And, and, and getting people open and understanding that, you know, I mean, it's a team and not just individuals. So any way we can get our teammates a, a bucket is, is the best way we can, we can go. What have you guys been seeing out of Peyton the last couple of weeks? He's, he's been on a pretty hot streak with the shot. Yeah, he's been uh, shooting the way that we, we knew he could. He's been, he shot the ball very well in the summertime and I've always seen him as a shooter. So he's just, he's just doing his job and, and uh, hitting shots. So sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. Right now his shot is, is hitting, so he's doing a very good job. Dana has talked about he likes to, the leadership he's gotten out of Peyton the last couple of games too. What what exactly does he mean there, or what do you see as a kind of a veteran? Uh, just talking. He's talking to everybody and, and trying to get everybody into it. And, and if anything goes wrong, he tries to bring us in and talk to us. And, and we do that too, um, me and Elijah. But at the same time, Peyton uh, is a point guard, so he, he he does it on the court. And even through certain movements he does and certain things that he does, his leadership is, is, is very vital to our team. Because of the outcomes you guys have had in some of these tighter games, do you feel like there was a certain level of second guessing yourself down the stretch tonight, or kind of how do you explain the last four minutes? Uh, not really. Um, we understood that uh, the last four minutes, the last couple of games were, were, were not our best, but we understood that if we trust in what we our abilities and trust in our coaches and understand that we can go out there and just 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 play and not really worry about things, then we'll get the job done. Um, as ugly as it may be, I mean, a win is a win. So uh, as long as we go out there and play hard and and, and and try not to make too many mistakes, then we'll be fine.